Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video from Delta Space Systems. Today I'll be updating you on the development of my new rocket Unity and the first two test launches. In May 2021, I began working on Unity. Unity has a completely new avionics unit that is more reliable and allows for more expandability in the future. Unity also has a mechanical ejection system that can be tested on the ground before every launch and that can be reloaded much quicker. Unity's structure is also significantly different than Frontier. Inside the rocket, there are three carbon fiber rods, which help with vehicle testing and integration. Since Unity is over one meter tall, we had to switch from 3D printing our airframe. In July, I built a carbon fiber tube that will be the airframe for the rocket. After Unity was tuned and tested, I static fired it on an E12 rocket motor. Four, three, two, one. After the static fire, I finished prepping the rocket and brought it out to the launch site. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. On this first flight, Unity had a mass of 1.28 kilograms and reached a maximum altitude of 49 meters. Although the shot cord ripped from the rocket, this was the first successful flight of an Aerotech F-20 on a TVC rocket. Upgrades that I added for Flight 2 include a 4K camera pointing at the TVC mounted flight, an updated gimbal design with plus or minus 8 degrees of range, and the ability to control for a set point in the inertial frame. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. During flight, Unity corrected for its orientation well and stayed within 3 degrees on pitch and yaw. The parachutes deployed successfully at 45 meters and the rocket drifted safely to the ground. Unity Flights 3 and 4 will test new software and vehicle structures. If these two launches are a success, then Flight 5 will carry the rocket to 250 meters on the Aerotech G25 in November. I'm Cole, thanks for watching, and I'll see you at the launch site.